see what we got over here. 0 0.37, 0 0.39. So that's as good as it gets, at least on on my printer because of because my print bed is warped, and you know they're pretty much all freaking warped. Glass is the flattest surface you can print on, which is great, but you can't use this sensor with glass. You'd have to go to a different sensor, one that has a longer sensing distance, like one of the round sensors. Round sensors have a longer sensing distance. Once you get your Z offset calibrated, and you print out that 160 millimeter test pattern, and you measure the thickness. If you need to adjust, in my example, I had come up with a, an, a Z offset of 2.0. I ended up, as you saw in the LCD, my, my final offset ended up being 2.1, okay? And uh, the reason for that I was printing a little bit too tall. So by increasing the Z offset number, it brings your nozzle down closer to the bed. By decreasing that Z offset number, and what I mean by decreasing is the actual number, okay, don't, don't figure in the negative, because when you, when, you, when you enter your Z offset, you're going to enter that as a negative number. Increasing the Z offset, you bring the nozzle closer to the bed. What you're telling the, the firmware is that the distance between <laughs> the distance between the nos the nozzle and the sensor is at a certain distance. I hope this makes sense. So by increasing that number you're pushing you're basically telling the, the Skynet software that your sensor is actually up higher and by decreasing that number you're telling Skynet firmware that your sensor is actually a little lower so by decreasing the number you raise the nozzle by increasing the number you lower the nozzle closer to the bed I hope that makes sense um, if you're not sure you know just change it by 0.1 run another test pattern and you'll see if you're going down or up and if you're going in the wrong direction just go in the other direction it's pretty simple man I hope this uh, I hope this clarifies things for somebody it's kinda hard to describe this problem until you actually run into it and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and, and it's not really a problem once once you know how to get through it okay it's just like anything else with these revised instructions, I'm going to save a lot of you guys a lot of crashing into the bed with your nozzle. Guarantee it. I mean, the attraction to that cube sensor is that it's cheap. It's only about 12 bucks, And if you order it with, the, uh, with your printer, right now they have a sale going on where it's only like 2 or $3 more. You know, it's an add-on as an add-on so it's definitely worth getting that sensor and the sensor is very accurate it's a very accurate sensor the only thing is the sensing distance is kind of kind of close the one drawback to using that sensor is you can't use a glass bed because glass is too thick and it won't sense through the gl glass before the sensor hits the glass but it'll sense if you're using like a build tack or if you're using masking tape on the aluminum bed you'll be fine all right, I hope this helped you guys out. I put a bunch of links in the description below. There's a link to the video. There's a link to, to the Skynet software. There's a link to my revised auto bed leveling instructions. There's also some links, affiliate links for GearBest for the ANET A6, A8, the sensor. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys use those links. They send me a little kickback, and believe me, it's not that much, but it helps, okay? I learned a lot on YouTube, and this is my way of giving back. Believe me.
there's no financial gain here whatsoever. But if you know, if if I can get five dollars from this place and five dollars from that place, buys me a cup of coffee, maybe a a, a roll of filament. <laughs> if I do this for six months. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and and I hope you learned something, and I hope I helped you out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you belong to the Facebook group, I'm going to put a link in the description for the Facebook group also. Ciao.